In this problem, we have to find two limits given a piecewise function. So you can do this without showing any work, or you can show work. In this video, I'm going to show you how to show all of the work. So, solution. So we'll start uh, by finding this limit here, the one that approaches uh, negative 1. So first, let's focus on the limit as x approaches negative 1 of g of x. So in order to compute this, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take one-sided limits. And so the reason you know to take one-sided limits is because you have inequalities here in the piecewise function. And if the one-sided limits are the same, then the regular limit is also going to be equal to that value. So we'll start by taking those one-sided limits. We'll start by taking the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left of g of x. So we have to figure out what g of x is in this case. So because we're approaching negative 1 from the left, here's a little picture on the top right, here's negative 1 and here's x. So you notice from the picture that if you approach from the left, x is actually less than negative 1. So that means that you use the top piece because the condition for the top piece tells us that g of x is equal to 2 plus x whenever x is less than or equal to negative 1. So less than negative 1 satisfies that condition. So what we do is we come back down here, we write the limit sign again, you write the x, you're approaching negative 1 from the left, and now you just replace your g of x with 2 plus x. Just like that. So you could have skipped this first step here and just jumped to this one. That's typically what I do. But I wanted to show it at least at first so you see that technically that's what's happening. So now we can plug in the number. There's no issues. Remember, remember when you're taking limits, if you can plug in the number and it's okay, like it's not undefined, that's fine. You get an answer. All is good. So plug it in. Drop the limit sign. So 2 plus negative 1. And that's equal to the number 1. Boom, there it is. So that's the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left. So now we have to find the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right. So I'll do it right here. Limit x approaches negative 1 from the right. So instead of writing g of x here, I'm going to go ahead and fill in uh, what we need. So we're approaching negative 1 from the right. So if you were to draw a little picture over here, here's negative 1 and here's x. And so we're approaching it from the right. So that means x is bigger than negative 1. You might say, okay, it's bigger than negative 1, so use the bottom piece. Wrong. You want to be infinitely close to negative 1. So how close can you get and be bigger? Well, right here, this is you know, being really close to negative 1. Just read it backwards. x greater than negative 1. So we use this piece here, x squared. We plug in the negative 1, so we get negative 1 squared, which is equal to 1. Boom, there it is. So because both of these are the same, we are in really good shape. That means the regular limit is also equal to 1. Right? So the answer here is 1 for the first part. If we had gotten a different answer, like if this was 1 and this was 5, then you would have put um, D and E here for the first question. Okay, let's do the second part. So we want the limit as x approaches 3 of G of x. So as before, let me just do like a little separation here. We have to compute the one-sided limits. So let's do the limit as x approaches 3 from the left. So approaching from the left, we're smaller than 3. So we're looking at this condition here. So we have x squared. And then we plug in the 3. So we get 3 squared equals 9. Now let's approach from the right. So approaching 3 from the right. Approaching 3 from the right, we're bigger than 3. So we use this condition here, and so we replace g of x with 9. So this is equal to 9. These are both the same, so now we can come over here and fill in the final answer. The answer is also 9. Again, if we would have gotten like a different answer for one of these, then we would have put d and e. So. And you know, in all of this, I skipped the preliminary step. Like here you can write limit x approaches 3 from the right g of x equals, and then same thing here. You could do the same thing up here, except from the left. So um, yeah, I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.